Hey, welcome to my channel. I realized that in every single one of my sit down videos, I always say welcome back to my channel. So I'm assuming that you've been here before. So assuming that you haven't been here before, I'd love if you would hit that red subscribe button so you can stick around and follow our journey. So this video is going to be my second trimester update. I am currently 18 weeks and three days. So I'm going to update you until 17 weeks and then hopefully I will Stay on top of it enough that I can do weekly or possibly like bi-weekly like every other week kind of updates that's my plan hopefully I actually do it so I have my bullet journal here with all my information at week 13 the baby was the size of a lemon see my lemon drawing can't tell that focused um, my symptoms this week actually I'll start with the baby at 13 weeks is 2.91 inches so pretty much three inches big I think at this gestational age they measure from head to bum I'm not exactly sure when they start doing head to foot but anyways I'm pretty sure in week 13 it's head to bum and it weighed 0.81 ounces my symptoms this week were acne um I have I've had like acne on and off like just like a little bit like here for some reason on that side I think like seems like a random spot to me but um which I had I'm pretty sure I had with Grace as well M possibly more this time around I'm not sure why it's the same time of year that I was pregnant with my first daughter Grace but I've heard that that's like an old wives tale that like if you have more acne than you normally would when you're not pregnant then you're gonna be having a girl but Grace was a girl and if anything I have had more this pregnancy so maybe it's a girl I don't know anyways um, I was still tired this week I've been tired since day one um, but not as much this week and again um, if you watched my previous videos I had said I can't remember what week that starting from a certain week I had to pee all the time and that has not stopped and that is still true so that goes for week 13 that's all I wrote down for symptoms for week 13 but I wrote down that the baby has fingerprints, which is crazy. At like 13 weeks, they already have fingerprints. So, oh, okay. In my previous video, I said I was going to talk about uh, my doctors because I had to have, um, I switched doctors. So on March 23rd, which fell in my 13th week, I switched doctors, not by my choice. My regular doctor that I, um, she's not my family doctor, but she's like the, I guess like the OBGYN, she's like the maternity doctor at my clinic. Um, I had her with my daughter Grace, and I loved her, she's super awesome, um, she's my daughter's pediatrician now. Um, she actually was, is, was, is, was pregnant, she's had the baby by now, but so she's left on maternity leave, so I got switched to a different doctor. So I met her, I had previously met her once before, um, when I was pregnant with my daughter Grace, when my first doctor went away on vacation so this was my first time meeting her with this pregnancy and um i don't know i've only had like the one you know quick just regular kind of visit with her i didn't like her as much so i'm hoping she grows on me but i just really 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 like my other doctor she might be back to work in time for the delivery so we're really really hoping she is so um, that doctor's appointment went well, um, the, my blood pressure was good. I didn't write down what it was, but it was good, <laughs> whatever good is. Um, we were pretty sure, um, I think I might have mentioned this last time, we were pretty sure that I have an anterior placenta, which just means it's in the front. So it's like between the baby and my stomach, my skin, basically. Um, so it makes it a lot harder to feel the baby and to hear or like find the heartbeat. So we couldn't find the heartbeat on the Doppler, which has been the, like, we couldn't be able to, we hadn't found it previously at any other appointment either. Um, so she went and got the little handheld ultrasound machine and we saw the heartbeat that way, which is the exact same as my previous doctor's appointment. So that night, um, I wrote down that I felt like I could feel the baby having hiccups, but I'm pretty sure it was way too early, but I kept, I felt like a repetitive, I don't know, it just felt like hiccups, but I don't think it was. I don't think there's any way that, like, I think that's way too early at 13 weeks, especially with an anterior placenta. 
So moving on to week 14, the baby was 3.39 inches long. I don't know if I should say tall or long. Um, and 1.50 ounces. So that's quite a bit. That's almost like half an ounce since, over half an ounce really, since the previous week. Um, the baby is as big as a peach. And um, so I drew some little things here on, let's see, which one is the smallest? On March 24th, the baby is as tall as a debit card. Uh, March 25th, the baby is as tall as a playing card. And March 27th, so two days later, the baby is as tall as a crayon. So I actually traced these things into my journal. So the blue one's the debit card, the red one is the playing card, and obviously that is a crayon. So my symptoms for week 14 were nasal congestion, which I've had from like, for quite a while, not from the very beginning, but I would say maybe from like week 10, I just had never written it down. Another side note thing that I wanted to talk about that I haven't written down, I wanna write it down in my journal for my own memory, but my hair has grown so much, which I know is normal. Can't even like see how long it is. Um, but it has been falling out so much. Like I swear, when I was pregnant with my daughter Grace, my hair didn't fall out at all when I was pregnant. And then I heard so much about the postpartum hair loss and I was so concerned because my hair, I've always had long hair, it falls out so much. So I was worried that like I was so much more was gonna fall out with the postpartum hair loss, but I never really had that. And now since I've been pregnant this time, I've been losing so much hair. My hair falls out all the time. It's like right now there's like a bunch on my legs. It's always falling out. I have no idea why, but side note. <laughs> um, so then the rest of the symptoms for week 14, um, the regular had to have to pee all the time, tired. Um, I had a little bit of an upset stomach this week. I don't know what was with that. Kind of random because I was pretty much over any slight morning sickness that I had, which wasn't ever very much, which I was very thankful for. Um, March 30th, which was the last day of week 14, was the day that we announced on social media. And this week the baby is growing, I don't know how to, lang, langu? I don't know how to say it. It's that hair that's like all over them. I'm not sure. L-A-N-U-G-O. Maybe somebody else knows how to pronounce that or hopefully you at least know what I'm talking about. And the kidneys started making urine this week, which is crazy. So week 15, the baby is as big as an avocado or navel orange. I don't know, I think those are like the bigger oranges. They're like, I don't know, that big? Everyone knows how big an avocado is though. Um, the baby is 4.02 inches long and 2.5 ounces. So that's a whole ounce from last week. Um, this was the week that I felt like I possibly was starting to feel movement. I haven't felt like a lot of, I don't know, even with my daughter Grace, I never really felt like flutters that I hear people talk about. Um, her when I first started feeling grace move it felt like a muscle spasm like you know when you're like eye twitches or like a muscle in your body twitches and you can't control it but it's moving like you feel it move but you're not controlling it that's what the early kicks felt like from her but I haven't really felt that which is another reason we think that um I have an anterior placenta my ultrasound is May 4th so we'll find out for sure then but I think it's pretty safe to assume that I do but with this baby I felt like I don't know, maybe it could be gas feelings. I don't know, but I felt like pressure on like the outside of my stomach. Like sometimes it's more to one side or the other or like right in the middle, but it feels like, like if this is the outside of my stomach, it feels like the baby's like pushing up against my stomach. Does that make sense? I don't know. I've tried to Google it and see if that's like a thing, but I don't know, I haven't found a whole lot on that. But week 15 is when I started feeling that feeling, I guess. Um, also this week, week 15, I found the heartbeat at home. I bought a home Doppler or like just a Doppler, I think they're all the same, um, off like the Facebook mom site for 20 bucks and I was able to find the heartbeat and it was at one between 140 and 150. That was on March 3rd. Um, symptoms for week 15, tired, have to pee, I had some headaches and some dizziness this week. So pretty usual symptoms going along here. Week 16, the baby is 4.61 inches long, 3.5 ounces heavy. <laughs> um, the baby is starting to hear my voice this week, so I'm pretty sure that is just my voice hearing from the inside. I don't think at this point it can hear from the outside. 
Um, the baby is as big as a dill pickle, and I thought my drawing of the dill pickle was really cute. I tried really hard. There's my avocado. <laughs> um, the symptoms this week were tired, have to pee, vivid dreams. I definitely have had vivid dreams on and off this pregnancy. Dizziness again, and appetite increase. This is when I noticed my appetite increasing. Some There has been a few weeks where I haven't been as hungry, but I think in general it's just safe to say it has definitely increased. Um, on April 9th, the baby was as tall as a grande iced coffee. April 10th, the baby's palm is the size of a chocolate chip. And April 11th, the baby is the size of a can of soda. So it's pretty, getting pretty tall. Um, that was week 16, right? Yeah, so week 17, which was last week, the baby was the size of a pomegranate. So that's pretty big. Also, um, was it this week? Yeah, this, on. Um, one of my, on the Ovia app, you can change, they call it the theme, so you can, it can show you the size of your baby in like fruits or vegetables, I think it's called like weird but cute animals, there's something about like a bakery one, and the other one is like games and toys, I think, and this week, uh, like last week, week 17, it said the baby was the size of a game controller, so I don't have one with me right now, but that, like, like a PlayStation controller, it looked like in the picture, like I guess like an Xbox controller or whatever, they're all about similar size, but the picture looked like a PlayStation controller, which is what Greg has. That's like, I think like that big, like that's pretty huge. Like I didn't think the baby was that big already, it's, but I guess it is pretty close to 20 weeks. So anyways, my symptoms this last week, um, I had a cold last week, Grace did as well, and she gave it to Greg and I. So I had cold symptoms. Obviously that's not pregnancy related, but that was life. Um, I had headaches. I don't know if that was from the cold or from pregnancy. Um, I had bloating in the evenings a lot last week. Again, had to pee all the time, tired, and I had some acne again last week. So like I said before, it's been on and off. Um, April 14th, the baby is as tall as a box of tissues, which is taller than this page. I was going to draw it, but it's about like from the bottom of here to like a little bit past. So I thought that, that's crazy. Um, and on April 17th, the baby weighs about as much as a hockey puck. So that's pretty heavy, hockey pucks are pretty heavy. Oh, and so that would be about six ounces because I have written down that this week the baby weighs 5.90 ounces and is 5.12 inches tall. I feel like at 17 weeks, they st around 17 weeks anyways, they start measuring from like head to foot, head to toes, but I don't know for sure. So that leads us up to week 18, which I will hopefully have a video up next week about just week 18 and my symptoms and everything going on for that. My detailed ultrasound is coming up on May 4th and I'm so excited we are going to find out the gender, so also stay tuned for a gender prediction video is that what you call it i think so um i want to do some old wives tale type things um that are said to predict predict the gender before we find out at the ultrasound but i'm so excited i am nervous of course hopefully we just want obviously we want everything to be healthy and okay with the baby but when we went for that ultrasound with my daughter grace they weren't very like sure that she was a girl she, they were right. That was the first thing the text said was that she's a girl and obviously she was born a girl but she was, I think she said she was like 70% sure or something so that made me nervous because then I didn't want to start buying like a bunch of girl stuff in case she was wrong but she was right so I am just a little bit nervous that they're going to do that again and not be totally sure about the gender of the baby but we, I think Greg more wants a boy because usually dads do. I'm really torn though because I've always wanted a girl, a boy and a girl to have one of each, but I think it would be really cool for Grace to have a sister. I'm an only child, so I don't know what it's like to have a sibling, but I feel like siblings of the same gender, like two girls or two boys, are closer than siblings of the opposite sex, but obviously it doesn't matter. It just comes down to we want the baby to be healthy. So stay tuned for those videos. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to follow our journey. See you in the next one. Bye.